I can't even tell you how much time I spent in this room. I used to be afraid. Used to be, uh, I did not know the way. She's a shooter, she's a scorer, she's the best player in the country. AZ Fudd is the best high school player the women's game has seen in years. More acclaimed than Asia Wilson, Elena Deladon, and even Paige Beckers. She was a bucket, an automatic bucket. She could score all three levels. The skills speaks for itself. The first sophomore to win Gatorade National Player of the Year. But at the peak of recruitment. What a future this young lady has in front of her. All of those expectations were suddenly in peril. I did really worry, would I be able to make it back to that level? Would I be the same player? It's just hard to see your kid go through that. I'm Katie Barnes, and this is ESPN Cover Story. For a generational talent, AZ Fudd's game hardly came immediately or naturally. But I just wasn't any good at it. My mom had to force me to play. I thought she sucked. First time she caught the ball, she turned and just held it out. And the girl just took it and went the other way. And she was like, oh. Before you can really get to know AZ Fudd, you have to know her mom, Katie. Katie starred at Georgetown and was drafted into the WNBA in 2001, but was cut prior to the season. Two years later, with AZ by her side, she was training for a comeback. I went up for a rebound, and as soon as I landed, a guy's knee went right into the side of my leg, and it just, like, I mean, just, like, exploded. There goes my career. So Katie began training AZ. And over time, Go. It's your right foot. the work was paying off. Step back, jump shot, good. You got an answer for that, I know. She came in and dominated the league right off the top. She's just better at basketball than everybody else. As a freshman at St. John's College High School, AZ averaged 24 points per game and as a sophomore, became the youngest to win Gatorade's National Player of the Year, besting UConn commit Paige Beckers. Everyone will know her name. She's gonna make a big mark on the next level in college. As the number one recruit in the country, AZ was selected to compete at USA Basketball's U18 three-on-three -three national championships. April 13th, 2019, how are you feeling that day? I remember the person guarding me was really physical. Three, two. AZ drove to the right and she was going hop to power. I jumped to a jump stop. All I kept saying was like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. As soon as she landed, I knew. I knew what it was. The look in her eyes, the fear in her eyes of what just happened, that said everything. An MRI would confirm AZ had torn her right ACL and MCL. A surgical procedure would take a graft from her left knee to repair the injury in her right knee. I would never had a big injury before, so knowing that I wouldn't be able to play also, seeing the pain in my mom's eyes because she's been through it. I could see like it just hurt her seeing that I had to go through it too. I did really worry about would I be able to be as good as I was before I was hurt. There's so much pain and there's so much work and grinding that just like, you find out who you are as a person. You find out what you're willing to do. 
She had me on a schedule. Wake up, do my exercises. Lay on the bed, I used to do some exercises. I had to reteach myself everything. So she came up to me one day and whispered in my ear, how will I know when I'm ready to play? And I said, you'll just know. And she said, I'm ready to play. My heart was beating really fast when my coach said my name. He was like, AZ, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm really going in the game, really going in the game. Fudd measuring, dribbles, and buries the three. Oh my goodness, that's so deadly. Despite a pandemic, canceled games, and closed rehab facilities, AZ remained the number one recruit in the country. And on November 11th, 2020, I will be attending, next four years, the University of Connecticut. AZ Fudd, the top women's basketball prospect in the class of 2021, announced this morning that she's going to be attending UConn. I'm happy for her. She's super talented, and she's also a comeback queen. UConn's getting uh, all everything basketball player. She wants to be the best, and she shows that in everything that she does. I tell her every day I'm proud of her. I want to achieve her dreams that she didn't get to achieve and do the things that she couldn't do. I can't wait to see what I can accomplish in college.